Welcome back to Not So Grand Garage. Tonight we're out in the driveway tinkering around with the old Mercedes and uh, doing some experimenting with the fuel system. So I'm trying to get a cleaner, more efficient burn while it's on waste oil. Right now there's about 70% oil in the tank and it's getting a bit hazy. So I'm going to tinker around and uh, try to make it better. We'll see. Our first little trial is going to be this flat plate heat exchanger. We are going to preheat the fuel going into the filter head and the injection pump. The closer the fuel is to auto ignition temperature, the better. It's uh, easier for the fuel to be ignited and it will burn cleaner more completely. So uh, we're going to try this first. We'll also be bumping the timing up a little bit to give uh, the fuel a little bit more time to burn in the cylinder before uh, the exhaust valve is opening. The oil burns slower, but it's got more energy. So in theory, a little bit of a timing bump, we should actually gain power on oil and hopefully get a cleaner burn out of it. But uh, we'll see. I'm not bumping timing up yet. That's gonna be for another video, but we're gonna play around with this. Got the little IR temp gun. I'm gonna take some uh, take some scans of the filter head and of the heat exchanger, see if it's actually doing its job, and uh, go from there. We got our idling right now. Currently, so see, the heat exchanger is about 97 degrees. Fuel filter is reading 109. So, uh, we'll let this warm up a little bit. I have had this running. That's why the uh, fuel filter is reading hotter. But uh, I let it cool off for probably 20 minutes. So, I'm going to let this warm up a little bit. Get some of the air out of the, uh, out of the cooling system because I lost a good bit of coolant coming this in. And then we'll uh, check back. It's so about a 20 degree difference between the inlet and the outlet on this. Fuel filter is almost 140. Fuel return is at a little over 140 actually. So uh, I'd say it's uh, I'd say it's doing its job. pumps 140 degrees radiators around 150 160 bounce around a little bit I think we'll just uh, take it for a quick test drive and uh, see how our temps are when we come back and I'll probably uh, shoot some video on the way to work tomorrow way we get a, a nice good drive on it and see how much of a difference it makes and then come the weekend we'll uh, play with injection timing a little bit Well, I think I've got the air out of it now. We just got a 140, 150 over here. 
or 170 on top of the radiator. Fuel filter is running between 137 to top of the housing, 141, 142. Injector feed lines, 146. So we'll uh, put some miles on it and see if it makes much of a difference. Who knows? Well, the heat exchanger seems to be working, but uh, there's still some improvements to be made. But uh, I'm going to run it for a week, see how it does, and then come the weekend, I think we'll experiment with some timing. I'm going to put a little more advance in it and see if that helps clear up the haze. But uh, we'll see. It's just tinkering at this point, so uh, yeah. I'll call it there. got to get into the shop, so if you all haven't, please subscribe. We appreciate you watching.